Calamity Crow Kids Crafting. Hi! Today we're going to do a pom pom monster. What fun! For that you need yarn, cardboard or sturdy paper, pipe cleaners, felt fabric or colored paper, glue, scissors, a pen and googly eyes. It seems exciting! We start by taking two cardboard or sturdy paper pieces and put them together. You betcha! Then we draw a circle on it. Okay! Take something round as a template. We use a roll of tape. Put it on the papers and draw around it so you get a round circle. It looks easy! There! Then use a template that is smaller than the first one. We use the top of a color tube and draw a small circle inside the first circle. Here, you have to hold your tongue. Something like this. Then cut out the circle with the scissors. So it looks like this. Neat! Two separate rings that we're going to use together like this. Oh! Then we take the yarn and cut off a piece. You can take a fairly long piece, for it will be used folded. Watch your fingers! Put the ends together and fold the yarn. I want to do that! <laughs> like this. Then we take the end that is folded, so it forms a loop, like this. We put the loop through the paper rings, like this, from the inside and out. Then take your fingers through the loop and grasp the twine and pull it back through the loop like this so that the yarn is attached to the paper rings. Then just wrap the yarn around the rings in this way. I did that yesterday! Drabby dabby dabby doo! <laughs> Continue all the way around. Yep! This takes a little while. You will have to add more yarn several times. When you run out of yarn, just attach a new piece in the same way as the first one and proceed to wrap around the yarn until it looks like this. Wow, it looks great! The hole in the middle should be filled. You can have a use for a needle at the end. How exciting! You can of course choose any color of the yarn. You can also choose different colors every time you take new yarn. Then you will make a colorful monster. At the end, just cut the yarn. Be careful with the scissors! Then we take the pipe cleaners and put them through the middle so they stick out on each side of the yarn ball. That looks strange! This will become the monster's arms and legs later. There! Then take the scissors and carefully cut the yarn in this way. Oh, there's the scissors again! Cut until you get down to the paper rings, and then try to get the scissors in between them. It's probably best if an adult does that. It can be a bit tricky. Once you have succeeded to put the scissors between the paper rings, just continue to cut up the yarn ball all the way around. Scissors is a bit scary, I think. If it's too difficult, it can be good to ask an adult for help. When you're ready, it should look something like this. It turned out just great! Pull the paper rings a bit apart, so you have room to tie in the middle. Take a piece of yarn and tie it between the paper rings. Tie preferably several times and tighten it so the yarn ball stays together. Is that really gonna work? <laughs> if you tie too loose, there's a risk that the yarn ball falls apart, so be sure to tie properly. There you go. Then cut off the ends. Cutty cut cut. Then we remove the paper rings. Carefully cut in the rings like this. Be careful not to cut off the piece of yarn that you just have tied in the middle. This is so much fun! Then it's just to remove the paper rings and fluff the pom pom. It almost looks like my great grandmother. <laughs> The pipe cleaners will now be the pom-pom monster's arms and legs. 
There you go. That's not bad. Now we put the hands and the feet on the pipe cleaners. We make them out of felt fabric. You can also use colored paper. There are no rights or wrongs. Pom pom monsters can look just like you want them to. We have started like this. Ah! It looks amazing! Remember to cut the hands and feet with double felt fabric or paper so that you get two pieces. Yeah! Glue them together with a pipe cleaner in between, like this. Put some glue on one piece like this. Glue, glue, glue. Press the pipe cleaner to it. Don't get tangled up in the glue. <laughs> then you can take a little more glue. So there. And press on the second piece. Watch your fingers. There you go. That looks strange. If you want to, you can put ears on the monster too. Short or long, large or small. Cut out the ears on freehand or draw them first. Use double fabric, so you only need to cut once. And then the ears will be the same size, if you want them to. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Cutty, cut, cut. Then just glue them onto the monster. Glue. Glue, glue, glue. And press. Glue, glue, glue. Glue. <laughs> And press. There. Now it's time for the eyes. Great! We use these kinds of googly eyes that you can buy in craft shops. If you don't have any, you can make your own eyes out of felt fabric or paper. Put on a drop of glue and press firmly. And the same with the other eye. Glue and press. Then we cut out a mouth that we do the same with. Glue, glue, glue. Yes, you're right, Calamity Crow. Glue. <laughs> and try not to get stuck in the glue. And press. There you go. Now our little pom pom monster is ready. Woohoo! Oh, that's really nice. Remember that pom pom monsters can look just as you want them to. Here are a few more monsters that we have made. Hooray! It looks amazing! Wow! It's so amazing how nice it turned out. Now I'm eager to do some crafts myself. But before we start, I want to show you some nice pictures I've received from my fans. This drawing is made by Vihan, five years old, from Australia. Beautiful! This drawing is made by Ida, five years old, from Sweden. How nice! This drawing is made by Olivia, three years old, from Sweden. Fantastic! Thanks for the nice pictures! If you want to send me your picture, you can if you send it to this email address. I love it when I get all your pictures! See you in the next program! Happy crafting!